Godsey looking for his first one. Best finish second at Circle City last year. Peyton Freeman, best finish second at Clarksville last weekend. Pierce, 44th time. Held Tour feature winner off a corner number four. The return to late models at Tri-State coming to green. And a one. It's going to be Pearson Freeman battling for the race lead. Down the back straight away. How about Peyton Freeman leaving the four-time champ behind him. Off a of corner number four. Freeman pounds the cushion. He'll lead lap number one. Pearson second. Joe Gotti third with Clippinger in third. Outside looking in. Billy Moyer Jr. was inside looking for the fourth position. They're going to go side by side. Down the back straight away. Here comes a 21 to Billy Moyer Jr. He'll take the fourth position from Clippinger. Paul Stubber having a good run up front in the number 31 Stubber will have the seventh position that time, the sixth position that time at the line in the number 31. Yeah. Down the back straight away. Here comes Pierce right there. Is busy lap traffic in front of your race leaders. It's going to be Tomas and Rob three wide with Freeman and Freeman wasting zero time on lap traffic and he makes a big move. Caution is out around the speedway. Rusty Schlink was off the pace. He takes it into the infield in the number 91. First caution is out. Billy Moyer Jr. off the pace in 21 as well. Moyer was running in the top five. Back to green here in Hopstop. 11 in. Down the back straight away. The number F1 of Peyton Freeman will show the way. Bobby Pearson second. Joe Gazzi in third with the 16 C at John Clippinger and the 10 J at Jordan Bauer. Bauer and Clippinger side by side for the top four off the corner. Number four. Give it to the number 16 C at Clippinger. And here comes Pierce for the lead. He'll slide up the racetrack. Freeman with a crossover. Down the back straight away. Freeman now with a slider of his own, maybe. Yes, he does. Slide Job City, Indiana. Off the corner number four. It's the F1 of Freeman. No, it's Pierce at the line. Bobby Pierce has it slides up the racetrack. Oh, Freeman had to kiss the brakes. And now Pierce takes the lead off a of corner number four. This time the 32 is a smooth operator in command. Now we get to work on lap traffic. Bobby Pierce all up and over the cushion in turn number four. And the caution is out. We got trouble. Paul Stubber. No, Stubber. He was running in seventh. The Australian was having a good run tonight. And unfortunately, Involved in a wreck there. Not exactly sure what happened there as we were paying attention to your leaders up front. I don't know which car that is in turn number two. Just by my knowledge, I believe that's Dylan Thompson. Coming back to green, it's Bobby Pearson, 32, leading us here at Tri-State. Down the back straight away, Joe Gotzi going to try to muscle his way to second. To Freeman going to get back around him on the outside. Caution is out. We got him stacked up here. It's Tomas. Ty and Michael Quinn spinning to avoid in the 23NZ. So yellow is out. Doug Ty and Tomas involved here in turn number two. A green flag in the air. Back to green off of turn number four. Bobby Pierce leads us here in 32. The 14G of Godsey to the inside of that corner. Freeman. Oh, Cody Bauer had a hiccup in one and two. He wobbles. Clippinger goes to his inside. Off the corner number two. That's the battle there for the top five. But right now it's Bobby Pierce, Freeman, Godsey, Jordan Bauer. And now the 16C of John Clippinger into the top five of the number 16C. Now two lap cars in between your race leader, Bobby Pierce and Peyton Freeman. Freeman has caught the 32. Down the front straight away, down to a second. Down the nine tenths. The up one is really in the 32. But of course, Pierce had lap traffic in front of him now, has clear sailing. Freeman has to get around these lap cars. The number 30 of Mark Voigt off the pace down the back straightaway as he has his hand signaling out the window. Bobby Pierce leads us here in 32. In lap 32, eight laps to go. The 32 of Pierce leads us off of four. Gotzi on the inside of Freeman, looking for second down the back straightaway. Freeman holds him off. Gotzi in third. Cody Bauer in fourth. Now Jordan Bauer fifth. Battle for six. Clippinger and Burwell side by side. Off a of corner number four. It's still the 32 appears showing the way. This time, wave of the white flag. One lap to go. 16 winners in 23 races. Bobby Pierce was one of those 16 winners previously with the Dirt Car Summer Nationals here at Tri-State. That could only repeat tonight, and he's going to do it. The return to late models at Tri-State since 2018. Bobby Pierce will get his 45th career Hell Tour victory here at Tri-State Speedway. Number 32, how about it for the smooth operator, Bobby Pierce. Yeah, it was tough. I, I thought after the, you know, the first time we got through there, some of them guys start running the bottom, but they were racing like they were just racing. So uh, we had to get through them and 
Uh, it's a lot of fun out there. You know, this track is awesome. Uh, this facility is really nice. And you don't go to too many places where you can sling it in sideways and the track never ruts up. So whatever they're doing here with the dirt is really cool. And um, I, I was really glad to come back to this, this track. I was hoping it didn't rain out or anything because we had some bad luck the last time I was here. And it's just been so long since we were, were here. So glad to come back. Huge thank you to all my crew, everyone that helps me out. Um, you know, this hell tour is rough and uh, we're glad to finally get get going again. You know, we've had some bad luck lately, so it feels good. Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, I, I like around the top and my car works well up there and I'm comfortable around the wall. You know, it doesn't scare me or anything. I, I love it. So uh, it was a lot of fun. It, it was treacherous some spots, but it was so smooth that it, it, it made it easy, you know, the car wasn't getting all upset or anything, and, and we've been going to so many tracks, it just, they've been rough, so uh, it's great to have come to a place, like I said, you know, you can sling it in here, and normally these, these cars are so heavy, it ruts up the racetrack, but whatever they're doing here with the dirt, it doesn't, so um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, just battling Peyton there for the win, uh, that was awesome, you know, I haven't really got to race him much, and he's a pretty good wheel man too, so just uh, glad that we were able to have a really clean race for the lead, and it was a lot of fun with them. Well, congratulations on win number five as you try to chase down your fifth championship. Thank you. Bobby Pierce, your winner here at Tri-State Speedway.